Cock-a-doodle-doo, Barnyard Hullabaloo by Giles Andrea and David Wachowski. Early in the morning, as the sun begins to rise, the pigs are feeling hungry and they're snorting in their sties. The rooster wakes the farm up with a cock-a-doodle-doo. The sheepdog won't stop barking and the cows begin to moo. They're stomping in the stables and there's bleating in the barn. So let's climb aboard the tractor and explore this noisy farm. First we have the rooster. Cock-a-doodle-doo, cock-a-doodle-doo. I'm the rockin' rooster, baby. Tell me, who are you? Then we have, who's this? The chickens. We chickens are covered with feathers all over our wings and our legs. So of course we could fly if we wanted to try, but we're too busy laying eggs. Next we have, who's that? The cow. Sometimes I moo while I'm chewing. I hope you don't think that it's rude, but mooing and chewing is what I like doing. Do you moo when you chew your food? Then we have the dog. I'm the farmer's old sheepdog, his faithful and loyal best friend. I've been by his side from the day I was born, and I'll stay with him right till the end. And we have the cat. Hello, I'm the big barnyard kitty. I like to sleep in the shade of the house, but I always keep one eye half open to spot every passing plump mouse. Then we have the pigs. I love taking care of my piglets and watching them wiggle and squeal. They clamor all over each other all day and snuffle around for a meal. Then we have the donkey. It's wonderful being a donkey. I simply spent hours and hours just wandering around on the soft grassy ground, sniffing the sweet smelling flowers. And then, do you know who this is? A turkey. I've got these funny floppy things that hang down from my neck. They dangle when I gobble and they wobble when I peck. Then we have the geese. We waddle around in the barnyard and make so much noise when we talk that wandering goslings rush out of our way as we babble and cackle and squawk. And we have the cute sheep. I've got gorgeous fluffy fleece, which makes me very proud. So I skip around my meadow, make believing I'm a cloud. And the goat. I sometimes hang out by the sheep pen, chuckling into my beard. Sheep often think that they're better than us, but goats never need to get sheared. We have, who is it? The horse. There's nothing like hay when you're hungry. I'm happy to munch a whole bale, but sometimes I stop for a clippity clop or to flick a few flies with my tail. Oh, then we have the big bull. I love to snort steam from my nostrils. It makes me look angry and tough. And then I start scraping my hoof on the ground as if that isn't scary enough. Oh, then we have the fox. You don't want a fox on your farm. I wait in the woods until nightfall, then down to the barnyard I creep because nothing looks quite as delicious as chickens who've fallen asleep. Then we have the owl. I always hunt at night time, and I sleep throughout the day. Tarit, taroo, you'll hear me cry out searching for my prey. Now it's night time in the barnyard, and the moon is shining bright. It's time to leave the animals and wave them all good night. The cows are feeling sleepy, 
so they settle on the ground. It won't be very long now till they're sleeping safe and sound. The horse is in his stable, and the hens are in their shed, but the sheepdog's fallen fast asleep inside the farmer's bed. The end.